Hi guys, Callum here from 3D Tomorrow. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reduce the file size of 3D printable files in Mesh Mixer. Let's go. Quite often when 3D printing, I encounter files that have really large file sizes. This can mean that various software packages are unable to work with them, or at the very least makes them very slow to process. What I generally find is that these files do not need so much detail since FDM printers have a limited resolution anyway. And so what I generally do is reduce these files in Mesh Mixer. And I'm going to show you how to do this now. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using the Thinker. This scan is from my mini factory and I have put the link in the description. This file is actually approximately 40 megabytes and that is larger uh, than a lot of software can handle. So I've opened up Mesh Mixer and I'm importing this thinker that I've just downloaded. I'm waiting for it to import. Now Mesh Mixer can be quite slow because these files are large, uh, but you're gonna have to bear with it. So rotating around that, you can see it all looks nice and as it should. So I'm just gonna Command A to select it all, then Edit and Reduce. Now the standard is this percentage base reduction, but I'm going to change that over to max deviation. And you can see that the max deviation is currently set to 0.18 millimeters, uh, but I'm going to lower that down to 0.01, so that's 10 microns, uh, which is about the absolute max an FDM printer can deal with. You can see the difference between the two, I'm toggling between there. And uh, the 0.01, is, is pretty perfect, barely different from the original file. Right, so I can now export that and save it as the thinker reduced. And you can see when I go to get info that it's now 1.8 megabytes. So an absolutely massive reduction and I'll be able to process that much faster. So I hope you liked that video. I've shown you how to reduce the size of 3D printable files in Mesh Mixer. If you did enjoy the video, then by all means, please subscribe, share, like, and if you have any comments, then put them down below. See you next time.